there, we're a couple of creeps. Welcome back to our show, and we both got new shoes. Today, on Couple of Creeps, we watched a VHS. I... Zombie. It's called iZombie. 1999. Not, not to be confused with the show iZombie, which is based on a comic book. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Because it's properly spelled. It's actually a Fangoria Presents tape. Ooh. What'd you, what'd you think about it? Um, it's a zombie movie. Sure is. That's 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 about <laughs> it right there. It really reminded me of a uh, Phantomorphous and Red Crocodile, mm -hmm. in which the person who is slowly and painfully becoming a zombie just kind of stays within their own bedroom and has very minimal interaction with anybody. When they do, it's deadly. <laughs> <laughs> I I liked the movie overall. Like, it was very it, slow, and the, the play the same song over and over again, and. It's I like, just don't like zombie movies, really. It's like a song that you could create with stock sounds in, like, iMovie or something. Like, or GarageBand, I mean. You know, like, GarageBand stock sounds is kind of what it it's sounds like. It's that one Instagram filter with the falling leaves. It is. It's that sound, basically. Pretty much the whole time. Mm -hmm. As far as disturbing, it really... We just held our fingers and toes crossed the whole movie, hoping that there'd be some sort of payoff, and I think there was. There was. I think there was, like, it's, a little bit. it's the kind of movie where you're, you're watching it, and of course it's old, and I, I assume shot on video, and it has that mm -hmm. kind of quality to it, and so... A nice blurry, can't yeah, really see anything quality. Like, over, over exposed lighting mm -hmm. and too dark darkness and stuff like that, but... So along with Red Crocodile and Thanatomorphos, it kind of gives you, like, Butkery vibes. Or even, uh, oh, I can't remember who directed The Burning Moon. It was even more German. Otto Ittenbach. Otto Ittenbach. Yeah. So it has the quality of those kind of movies, which, of course, I don't really mind. But less... Anything. Less intense. <laughs> less anything that makes it interesting. Yeah. This one is more like a love lament. And the guy is very aware that he's turning into a zombie. He's like recording how many days he hasn't eaten, and he's willingly killing people just to keep living. Well, I guess if you want to talk about like a disturbing aspect of the film, I guess how you look at it is like why he so quickly just takes to the idea of killing people. And at first, he really is just like, I'm hungry and, uh, I killed somebody in the woods, and I don't know what happened, but I guess that's how I have to keep going, so... He's, he's like, being very scholarly about it. Yeah, and he's, like, planning victims, and he has to be careful not to get caught, and then this and that, so... But he's just decaying the entire film, so... It, it just kind of... What was the point? It's not until later on that he, like, starts to feel bad, mm -hmm. in a way. It's not until he... Just because he was starting to look ugly. Right, it's not until he sees himself physically as a monster that he feels like a monster so slightly disturbing what you know what can be said about this character that at first he was so comfortable carrying on this way or why like what's why go on living if you know if this is the price i guess kind of like a pseudo serial killer yeah you know, in a way i think it's inferring a lot that probably the movie didn't necessarily intend but no could he have had this latent ability to be a serial killer because he just like goes about it immediately after becoming yeah. a zombie. Yeah, and he mentioned that like um, it's kind of set up as a documentary because um, his ex girlfriend and her new boyfriend and his friends or acquaintances are speaking to a cameraman like as a documentary about him. And she mentioned before that he was so like he's such a loner and she never saw him. He always broke plans and always late. Kind of like a serial killer. I think we're filling in a huge gap with that. We're making it more interesting. Yeah. But with that being said, I think you can draw a lot from this movie if you want to. But on the surface level, it's pretty slow and boring zombie movie. It's it's a rainy day movie. It's just about as slow, if not slower, than like Red Crocodile, I think. <sighs> Red Crocodile was unbearable. The only <laughs> thing that separates this from that is the small scenes of him like going out and finding a victim whereas red crocodile was just the one dude in that dude apartment dude ass and dick the entire movie yeah is that the one yeah that was the one there's so many i think I, we watched so much penis <laughs> as we mentioned there is one payoff scene and i think i think it was good it's we like were rooting for it we're like we were we were like do it do it and then it happens you know 
with all these movies that we watch, it's like that's that's always fun when we're rooting for something to happen yeah. and it happens because it's just like, yeah, it's super graphic Finally. and gross. Overall, like I just I enjoyed it. As, you know, it's cool tape to have, I think. Yeah, I thought it was boring. Wow. Then again, I am extremely biased against zombie films. I don't think there's a lot that you can do differently with them and it did That's just it. Kinda, yeah. That's my piece. It's I don't just, think you can do a lot with them anymore. It's there it is. It's a zombie movie and if that's if you love zombie movies, I guess I would check it out for yeah. sure. If not, don't. Thank you for tuning in this week to Couple of Creeps. Make sure you uh let's see. Like like this video. Like this video if you hate zombie movies and like it if you do like them, but I won't like you. So either way, like this video, comment below if you have suggestions for our show of extreme horror and things that we should yes, watch. Yes, please. If there's something that you are curious about but you don't want to buy because then your spouse will be like, what the fuck is this? Then just let us know. We'll watch it for you and then let you know. Subscribe to our channel for more videos from us and from Monster Movies. You can follow us on Instagram at Couple of Creeps. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think that's about that. That about wraps her up for today. <laughs> well, that's it. So until next time, <laughs> don't, don't watch, watch this, this movie. movie.